sod it. I'm going to stand on my other sofa. Look, there's my feet. Can you see my feet right there? Look at that length. All right. Hi, happy Friday, TGIF. So I thought I should do one of these hack videos because I do them every now and then and I think that they are timeless, everlasting. <laughs> Sounds like a prayer when you're in church. But just the kind of things that I personally have done, Michael has also done, I included some from him as well. It's the tips, the hacks I call them, that I have just stood by period. I've always done these things, we've always done these things. Um, their lifestyle, it's a bit of fashion, obviously. So I just wanna get stuck in and tell you about some of our our top ones that we, to this day, still enjoy doing and still do every single day, year in, year out. Okay, first one is always pack a sweater or a jumper, as we say in England, when you are traveling. Now that is absolutely fact. I don't care where you are going. I mean, if you're going somewhere that's cooler, obviously, but I'm talking about places like when we go to St. Lucia or we go, right, because that's where I'm originally from, or somewhere that is on the warmer side, I'm telling you now, you're gonna thank me when you're there and you're cold. There will be an evening or an un unexpected afternoon when it just drops, or maybe you're in a hotel room or an Airbnb and the AC is very cold, or the bed is freezing for the temperature for, you know, that you, you normally like, and you normally like it to be warmer. You're gonna thank yourself that either you A, carried a jumper or a, a, you know, a sweater, or B, carried, or both, a pair of like sweatpants. Just something to just put on, keep you warm. Socks as well. I am not a very big sock wearer. I know it's really weird, but, I will say that when we're going to somewhere that's really warm, why the light is coming in and out, so sorry, I'm like getting blown out one minute, the next minute I'm not. But I have always reached for that jumper every time when I'm in a place that's you know supposed to be like very hot. I'm always reached for those um, warm socks in the evening when my feet are freezing, I have cold feet anyway, um, or when uh, I, it's just a cold room or something, or a cold evening, I bung on those, you know, the jogger pants, I'm telling you, pack, pack it anyway. Pack for the opposite to what the, the climate is for where you are going. Same applies for if it's a cold place or place that's supposed to be pretty cool. Always pack something that's like a lighter weight coat, a lighter weight jacket. Don't just bung on all your Eskimo type of coats. There's gonna be a day when it's going to be mild. It just, it's sods law. It always, always happens. Number two, let me see, hold on, where is it? Oh yeah, bring local currency with you in advance. So again, if you're traveling, just carry it with you because you're gonna hit the ground running in that airport and maybe the cab that you jump into for whatever reason, they just don't have like the card machine or whatever. You just never know, have that cash with you. Just, just always have it with you. It's something that I personally have always thought that is worth it to carry. Otherwise you find yourself forced to go somewhere where they charge a fortune, whether it's at the airport to change that currency out or something like that. So always have a little bit, it doesn't have to be too much, but just enough to get you from that A to B before you can like, you know, get out some more money. Oh, another one actually off of the back of that to do with travel is to, and I know Michael touched on it, I think it was last couple of videos ago, which is to always carry your vaccination card with you on your iPhone. So you can actually get it um, on your iPhone. You know where you have your wallet, where your credit cards are, or you go through like we're in shops or turnstiles in the uh, subway or the tube and you just tap your phone and it just reads electronically. Have your wallet add your vaccination card because trust me when we were in paris it happened in london and it happens all the time in new york now where we are you're going to be asked to see your vaccination card and instead of carrying around a piece of paper just keep it on your phone oh yeah again to do with travel attach a safety pin inside your luggage you never know when you will need one michael wrote that one down actually i think i personally like to attach a safety pin to just inside of my purses, my wallets, you know, I just carry a couple of them because you never know when you're gonna have a rip, a tear, kind of, some kind of emergency accident is gonna happen to you. And it doesn't have to be traveling, like literally on a plane traveling. You could leave, <laughs> you could be going anywhere just from A to B, just around the city, traveling, doing errands, and then something happens, you just come like, do I have a safety pin? Oh, 
it's just one of those things that you're always going to need and i'm so sorry the light is going in and out one minute i look really warm and like the sun and the next minute i just look like this so i'm almost like the color of my pants another one that we live and swear by is to always have quality bed linen <sighs> we we have to have it because the amount of hours you spend sleeping in your lifetime i forgot what the statistic is but anyway it's like a really long time we have become true advocates and believers of having really good bed sheets it makes the world of difference you know when you go to a hotel or some place i don't care where it is where you get to experience really nice quality sheets right and you think oh my god this is so nice you check the label like to see where it's from that's the kind of principle i'm thinking of it's keeping that luxury experience but taking it to your home and we have been huge fans of brook linen bed linen this part of the video is sponsored by them but earlier this year we started using their sheets and time and time again we still use them because they are quality sheets and they're affordable as well so they cut out that middleman markup price of like the hotel pricing and it's affordable and they always do promotions as well also brooklyn is having their largest sale of the year for black friday and they are offering you 20 percent off all their sheets and products so i'm going to leave the link in the description box for you so this is the brooklyn um packaging it's really really super simple <laughs> the camera's on all right so like i was saying earlier about investing in just having good sheets this is our third or fourth set i think but the thing is with brooklyn is that i remember that because we've been on holiday right and we slept in a couple of different hotels Very after, honestly after one night of sleeping with these you feel and i think i said this before it feels like you're sleeping in a giant marshmallow when you wake up because it's so Really right. They're really, really comfortable. They're so nice. It's a fluffy bed, and that's how you feel the next morning when you woke up. They were founded on the whole principle of people just being able to experience luxury quality bed sheets without the markup and the expensive price. I'm just a very hot person. Because they're especially designed to stay cool um, and keep you comfortable, and especially because he's got such a hot body. Temperature wise, <sighs> <laughs> it works. And these typically cost between, I think it's been 200 to 250, depending on the size of your bed. And that's comparable to like the luxury. <laughs> I don't know why you've been in here with me <laughs> compared to like luxury sheets that cost like 400 and up. So this is a massive difference. Wow, 400. These yeah. aren't 400. Are they? No, no, these ones aren't. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank goodness. Wow, they feel like it though. I know. I feel like, you know, just having quality um, sheets is like the ultimate form of self-care you sort of think to yourself oh my god how did I do it the other way you get lazy did you know you could actually pick between 25 different colors and patterns and mix them all together yeah pick like your, your school colors like you know like mine would be orange and blue orange and blue for gators <laughs> Well, I don't know if they have those colours, but the fact I like the fact that you can choose different colours and patterns, just depending on the yes. decor that you've got, your own That's aesthetic cool. in your room. So we have the classic hardcore bundle set, and you can save 25% right off the bat. Instead of buying individual sheets, you can just get their hardcore bundle, which includes their core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and their um, duvet cover. And you save 25% off the bat just by getting that bundle together. So it's it's hundred percent worth it. I like. Oh my god, what are you doing? Is this recording? Actually, yeah, it is. Don't you're gonna fall off the bed. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Let me finish my style hacks for you. Oops, sorry, hit my head a bit hard. Sorry. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so the next hack. Oh God, yeah, that's so true. Okay, I promise I'll move away from like the, um, the travel ones, but this is so true because we got we've got stuck. Always eat something light before getting on the flipping plane. I don't know about you, but we've always been through a time where the food has not been that great. That's just putting it mildly. And honestly, just save yourself, especially if you've got like a connection or something, and they don't give you anything, or. I, I don't know the flight is like up in the air it's not for long and it comes down again and you just think god i wish i had something before i got on this flipping flight because you know once they say ah oh, you know we're up in the air now you can remove your seatbelt and we are coming through the aisle with food 
food in like, you know, quotation marks or like, you know, questionable con quotation marks. It's usually like a packet of peanuts or something. Anyway, so just, you know what this hand means. Always, always, always eat something, line your stomach with something before you get on that flight especially if it's one of those really really early flights and the airport shops aren't even open yet where the restaurants aren't and you can't even get that and another one security you guys know about this already you gotta take your shoes off and all that don't wear lace-ups i love wearing lace-ups in fact you know what <laughs> this this hack should apply to me because i always keep forgetting it and actually i don't forget it right look this don't wear lace-ups for obvious reasons but I love to travel in my Jordans like these and I just wear like my cargoes or something or just any kind of like balloon pant and I'll wear these. But what I do is I just wear them like this. You see how they are right now? They're just kind of like loose like that. I, that. That is how I walk up to security when I'm like, you know, taking your stuff off. That. Or even better, what is it called again? Um, when you get, Michael, apply for TSA. You don't have to worry about any of that crap. If you're wondering what is TSA, TSA is the immigration interview that you have at an airport. You know when they go like, you know, they want to see your passport, take your mask down, show your face, blah, 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 all that kind of crap. You can go through um, TSA pre-check and what that is, is you skip the line. So when you arrive at the airport and you've checked in your luggage and then you go to the line where you've got to like go through the security, like they're weaving, this is the, this is the queue. And then you get to the area with the plastic bins and then you put your stuff off and you strip. If you want to bypass that and not remove your shoes, you can leave, I believe, your laptop in your case and it's a much shorter queue. We do get security checked, but you're already being checked in advance before you even arrive to the airport and your boarding pass actually says in the corner, TSA pre-check, you show that to the officer, you go to the pre TSA pre-check section and the queue to go through your own special section of security is honestly no lie, it's like, 10 people versus the 200 people who are going through the main security section now you have to in order to qualify to get it you have to go to your airport um no trip in mind you have to book an appointment to have an interview by an immigration officer and i know that must sound like really scary because like my god what are you talking about i don't know what? what but it's fine you're interviewed alone obviously they sit down and they ask you honestly they've already by the time you go to the interview they already know about me about karen because they've got on screen all my history where i've traveled where i live duh, 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 duh. so all they're doing is confirming so they'll ask you questions that you already know so tell me karen where do you live so what's your citizenship duh, duh, duh. they're asking you things you already know it, honestly you're in and out in 15 minutes and then that moment onwards anytime you travel anywhere and you go to the airport you show um that your your tsa information you type it in where you need to and then that is it you just skip that really long line at the airport and go straight through and then even better when you're coming home right and you're going through that like you got off the plane you're jet lagged and you know that massive queue you've got to like go through with immigration um you skip that again, especially if you're someone who travels a lot, I'm telling you, please, please, please do this. Ah, oh, fashion wise. Now, actually this applies to what I'm wearing. Um, if you, I'm five foot seven, and if you're somebody who has long legs and you're always thinking like, oh my God, my pants aren't quite long enough, always check the hem. See the seam allowance. The seam allowance is when you look at the bottom of a pant, right? You, you flip it up till you see the inside and how big is that fabric that's folded over, right? Because you if it's long enough, you can just unstitch it, bring it to a tailor, have them unstitch it or dry clean or whatever, and they can let it down and then it's so much longer. So it's like a little tip that I've always looked at when I'm looking at pants, I always like lift up the bottom just to see what is that seam allowance? What is the hem that they've given me on that pant? Do I have the ability to make it just that little bit longer? Another one, this is really like a beauty one, um, especially in this whole world of us having to wear masks everywhere. Um, use a good setting spray. 
highly recommend i've just started getting into setting sprays i quite like the urban decay all nighter setting spray um, i find that it does help to sort of keep your makeup in place so that once you've removed the mask your makeup is relatively still there and you don't feel like your concealer has disappeared and all that stuff so i i love making sure that you know i use a setting spray that really helps always make sure especially when it comes to masks you don't want mask macne they call it always make sure if you can to use a fresh mask every single time you use a mask i know that seems like oh my god what do you mean i'm like constantly like conveyor belt of different masks but i learned the hard way i was getting into a really bad habit where i was just reusing the same mask over and over just for convenience and i was breaking out and getting like a homer simpson's beard of of acne and it was exactly on my jawline it was exactly where the mask would be so just keep that in mind oh this is a really good one for when you're in restaurants i told you this is like lifestyle so it's a bit of everything it's a mishmash um, i've got beauty fashion and lifestyle fresh cut lemon to clean your hands this is great after eating seafood when you're in a restaurant and you've got your hands in like the crabs or whatever it is and you're using your fingers and then after you've eaten you know you rub it on the napkin right like discreetly under the table but your hands still like if you do that that your hands still smell like seafood i'm sorry but they just do so i found and i and michael i got this tip actually from michael and from my mum actually as well that always have like some fresh cut lime or lemon on the table if it's not there ask them for it and just squeeze it on your on your hands and just do that so you're literally washing your hands at the table if you don't have time to go to get up and go to the water you know to the toilet just use that lemon and it instantly cleans your hands and it's it works wonders and it's the best equivalent to washing hands before being able to like get up and go and wash your hands and it works every single time okay another tip and this is more beauty related back to the masks area i hate wearing a lipstick and then it transfers to the mask and then when i take the mask off i just look like the flipping joker here there you go that is what i end up looking like i go from looking like this right with my nicely made up lips to this post removal of the mask so i've switched the kind of lipstick i'm using i don't use any sort of glossy smeary lipsticks forget that i use um i don't even use matte lipsticks i do a little bit but even those kind of slide around i will use one of those lip stains i love those hold on here are two red lipsticks i absolutely love here um here is a lip stain one that <laughs> this is one of my favorite um lipsticks and it is by mac if this actually focuses on this i'm going to be like happier than a pig in <laughs> sorry let me let me know if this is going to focus on it hopefully it will anyway that lipstick is one of my favorites because you put it on it's almost like a lip gloss right it's got the doe foot applicator and it goes on wet and it just dries down to a matte finish and it does not move so you go like this and it's and there's nothing on the back of your back of your hand so i love that one and then another one this is by nars and it's called dragon girl and it is a lip pencil but it's the same thing it's a lipstick but in a pencil form i have had this for years and it is still to this day one of my favorite reds in a pencil form there you go you can see it there it is so good and those two use either of those two and they will last underneath your mask so when you take off your mask you still had that perfect shape red lip that you applied before you left the house or wherever you were i'm telling you i'm not saying get these particular ones but i'm just saying the formulation oh my god this is such a good one <laughs> arvin shout out to you because you're you're the one who kind of like got this all going and it is so true folex folex spray is life if you're wondering what i'm talking about uh, here it is I'm telling you this is the most amazing stain remover it's supposed to be for carpet stains but it works on so much so much more it does work on carpet stains and you just spray it on and then you leave it for i've just read the instructions and you just got to leave it on for a little bit and you just kind of like rub the material together or take like a damp cloth is it damp cloth or dry cloth one or the other just read the instructions just rub it through and the flipping thing starts to disappear in front of your eyes. We have used it on our sofa downstairs. Our sofa is white. Actually, it's an off-white. Also, I used it on my bag. I used it on this one. My stowed um, moon bag. This one, which I love so much. I've got lipstick on it. I forget where it was now. 
that's how good it is because I can't remember where the lipstick is but I swear I mean I even put it on my Instagram stories I was telling you how oh my god I got lipstick stain on my like you know my stowed bag and then I actually tried it I sprayed I sprayed Folex direct onto here I know and it was fine and I took a dry paper towel and I just did that and it just came off it's great um, Michael has used it on his luggage <laughs> like literally his luggage not the inside on the outside like he's had a stain on his luggage and he sprayed folex on it and it came off he's used it on his straw hats he has a couple of straw hats that he likes to wear he had um a off-white color one actually it was, no, it was white and it was just getting really yellowed over time and he folex the out of it and i'm telling you it was brilliant it just lightened and whitened his hat it was great it was so cool to watch and he put it outside in the sun because it was during the summer and he did that and i thought it was great i just love it. that stuff is the dog's bollocks i'm telling you get folex i'll link it below you will thank me and i'll um arvin later another fashion hack for you or it's more like a stylist tip that i love to do is whenever actually i'm doing it right now not now in, in this outfit but i'm doing it as of this week whenever you want a skirt to sit lower like you get a midi skirt and you can tell that it's probably not quite long enough. I like my midi skirts to literally definitely be below my calf muscle, right? It's got to be where your leg narrows down under the calf muscle. That's where I want a midi skirt to hit. I'm very specific. I have long arms and long legs. So I always order at least, at least, and I do mean at least one size up when I'm ordering my skirts. I would say I'm a size six, maybe. If it's a designer that runs on a small size, an eight US sizing skirt, I order a size 10, you know, because I want it to hit lower. I just recently got one from my Teresa. It is, I think it's Stan Studio. It's gorgeous. I'll leave it on the screen here. I love that skirt. I ordered it in a, like, if not one, two sizes larger because I just suspected that the way the cut of it, it just looked like it was gonna be a little bit too short and I knew how I wanted it to fit, so I got it longer. Speaking of, here is another skirt actually I got from my Teresa. I haven't even taken the tags off yet. It's from Nan Nanushka. This is probably, I'm, I'm bleeding into another video because this is something I'm gonna show you an, like another time. But I got this wool skirt. Now, I, again, I wasn't sure if it was going to be quite long enough so i got it in a size large and i got it in a large for that very same reason and now when i wear it i mean you can't see i see oh look sod it i'm gonna stand on my own sofa look there's my feet can you see my feet right there look at that length there's my toes see it's nice and long it's perfect that's what she said it's just exactly the length I wanted. I know if I got this in a medium or small, it would be ridiculous. And I'd be like pulling it all the way down there, which is ridiculous, obviously, to try and make it longer. But when you get it in a size that's bigger than you are, it's going to be a longer size. And I love that. It just gives you that drama, that swish that I'm looking for. So I can wear it under that. Oh my God, I haven't even worn this yet because I've got the tags on. But look, look how badass it's going to look with my Zara boots. Oh. It's gonna look so good. And then my cream, hold on. I know this has got nothing to do with the video, but look. And then you could add like this gilet. So you got this guy. Oh my God, it's like a life collage I'm just creating in front of you. You got this there, and then you got the skirt. Then you got the boot underneath, which I can't do. Okay, you can't see it, so that's not working. But you understand the point. It's just gonna look so good. Anyway, the point is just get longer skirts. Another um, hack for you, this is really like a shopping hack. When you see me, especially me, where, for example, like my, my men's Dior coat, right? My, tr my trench coat that I love so much. I'll show you pictures of it right here. I love it. I'm not gonna bring it out to you. I've got copious pictures of it on my Instagram. If you're not following me, I am Karen Britchick on there. Um, and you will see me wearing this and lots of other things every single day. But this particular trench, it is a thrifted vintage men's Christian Dior trench coat. Wow, try saying that three times fast. And I absolutely love it. And you lot love it too. Don't think that when I say that, or you see me write that in the description box or on my Instagram stories, you go, oh, I can't get that. And you just like click off. Of course you can. <laughs> you wanna know how you can get it? Go to eBay. Oh, you forgot. You forgot, didn't you? 
You go to eBay and you type in vintage men's Christian Dior trench coat. Search. Yeah, look what's going to show. All right, again, you can thank me later. Same applies to Zara items. I have noticed that, you know when Zara does something and it's it creates a buzz. There's an item that just everybody, everybody in their mother and aunt wants that thing. And it just sells out and it keeps selling out. They keep restocking and it keeps selling out. Da -da 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 -da. And then eventually you just never get it. You think, oh, I missed that one. Well, you didn't. You didn't. Again. Again. Go to eBay nine times out of ten. And I do mean as high as nine. It is going to be there. There's a few things that I have bought that I thought I would never get again. I have a red cowboy boot. I remember it's a pointed toe and a steel toe. I really wanted that. And again, I couldn't find it. It was sold out. And it kept selling out, selling out, selling out. They had it on um, eBay. And I've noticed they tend to come from Spain. So if anyone can resonate and know what I'm talking about, I have noticed that. Just something for you to bear in mind. Um, if you see anything from this point onwards, but you've wanted from Zara, or maybe something that you have remembered and you still remember to this day, as long as it's not like, sorry, as long as it's not like three years ago or something or more, something that's like, you know, the past year, check on eBay, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be there. Another really good hack. I've applied this um, before, but as somebody who works in front of the camera all the time on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, I'm always in front of the camera, so I'm always checking what I look like because I have to literally edit photos and edit YouTube videos in some cases. It's by nature I'm constantly seeing what I look like on film. And in doing so, often I get to look back and see, oh, I didn't like, oh, I shouldn't have worn that top with those pants just didn't quite work, did it? it? I thought, you know, in my mind, it was a good idea. But then when you look back, you play it back and you look and you go, crap, that doesn't look so good. Who knows, maybe I'll do that when I'm watching this back. But the tip I'm giving to you, because there is a tip here, is, because I wrote it down, try and shoot yourself with your phone to objectively see how you look in a certain outfit or a certain piece. This particularly comes in handy when you're in a shop and you don't have a friend around you and you don't want to ask the sales assistants who are going to say, oh yeah, it looks really good on you, but you, you don't know if something does. I know you've got the mirror and it's going to sound really weird, but often when you see yourself in a mirror, yes, it helps, but there is something about the motion of video. You get to see 360, how you actually look. Put your phone somewhere, reverse the camera and then hit record and then just record what you look like try and do it full length that is ideal and then play it back it could be a bag i did this when we went to paris with the dior saddle which is sitting right there i love oh, i love that thing so much and i'm so glad i got it in red and the reason why i'm so glad i got it in red is because i almost got it in the other color it was the footage because when i looked in the mirror same thing i looked in the mirror both of them and i i thought oh it's the cream i've always wanted the cream one and i love cream bags right i love white cream bags i see them as neutrals it's behind there but it was once i played back the footage thank god before i bought it i was looking at the footage because michael was recording me you know looking at myself in the mirror looking at the two colors and when i looked at that footage it switched instantly i just knew it no it's the red and i'm so to this day i'm so glad i did it even though i had the mirror there's something about either the video or a photograph of yourself that somehow it just flips and makes you see yourself objectively even though you've, you see yourself every single day in the mirror but there is something about the power of a photograph you get to see what you objectively look like how you look to other people which is why you start to fine tune your your outfits and your your color combinations that phone shot as a video is your objective friend i'll pat myself on the back now now this next one is a shopping hack um, again you're in a store and you see something you want or it could be online same principle will apply and if you cannot see that item in your wardrobe with at least three four, five, six of your pieces, 
like you have to struggle in other words to think what would I now how would I style that what would I wear it with don't buy it I've said this one before this is actually this one I'm going to give you this line I'm going to say is a common thread that's run throughout my entire YouTube channel Paula gave this one to me and I've never forgotten it thank you P if you have to convince yourself to buy it don't you're going to truly value that I've made that mistake. I'm sure you guys watching have made that mistake. If you buy something, and this is as a result, say you went through and you said, it, I love it too much. You bought that thing. Again, it comes home. You can't think what the all it's, sorry, it's gonna go with, because you can't. Honestly, you turn around and go, oh, you know what? If I just buy a cream dress, then it will work with that bag. All I just need to do is just buy um, a, a brown colored coat and it will look really... If you have to work it, you know what I mean? You've got to buy, you bought it already, but then you've got to buy something or things to go with it, to make it work. So it doesn't already work with your wardrobe, then mm -mm, that's a mistake. You've, you've bought something that you shouldn't have. And that is one of the biggest things that I've learned as well. I've come home, I can't remember what it is now, but I've come home with something and I think, crap, I don't know what to wear this with, it's not going with this, it's not going with that, it's not a neutral in any way, and it's not a colour that I really love to wear anyway, and I'm struggling, I'm struggling, and you just made a mistake, so just, just ditch it. Another one is during the Black Friday sales coming up and Cyber Monday, do not, and this is, I mean you're probably going to already know I'm going to say, sales goggles, do not get something just because it's on sale. Get it because it's something you actually need. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in your home or your wardrobe. It is something that you actually need. Had the item been full price, it's something that you could have still invested in and got because it's something that you will actually wear. You'll actually use in your home. It's something you really need. You're not just getting it because it's whatever the price discount is. You're getting it because you need it it's it's an investment for you it's a luxury that actually is something you can practically use all the time not just a one-off but you will keep using it that is when the the black friday sales and the cyber monday sales and all the sales that's going to be going on from now right up and they've already started before this video went up right up to christmas even after christmas you're going to see like clearance sales for the new year's it's just going to be like one long massive sale the whole time be careful get things that are truly you they speak to your style if it's fashion it's got to be something that is you that's something you look at it and go oh my god that's so me that's so karen i have to get that and you know boom whenever i've got anything that is so karen i've hit the ground running and i've used it um the same for you whatever your name is apply that same theory to anything you're looking at online or it's just something that goes with your home or fits your vibe fits your aesthetic that is when it was a good idea to get it on sale. Do not forget, like I said in the before, in the beginning of the video, Brooklyn is having their largest sale of the year. They're offering 20% off all their sheets and products. And I'm telling you, we, Michael and I, we, we swear by them. They honestly are our most comfortable sheets. And as you wash and wear them, they get even softer over time, which is it's brilliant. I love to collaborate with brands when you get products that actually do what they say on the tin and they do so let me know if you do cave and you try and invest and get any of their sheets but they really have been like one of the best finds that we've found for this year but anyway that is it those are my top style hacks for fashion lifestyle a bit of beauty travel as well all of it sort of wrapped up into one video give this video a like if you got to hear of one thing like the tsa pre-check maybe one thing that you hadn't heard of before all right, give this video a like if you had not heard of one of those. And that is it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 300k subscribers. Follow me on Instagram between this Friday and Tuesday when the next video goes up. I will be doing what everyone is wearing in New York. I know I haven't done one yet. I'm highly aware of it. I missed posting those videos. I have just been so busy on the background with work. It's just been, it's just been insane. This is the busiest time of year for me, right up to Christmas. And I have just been running around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to like, like an octopus, trying to get everything done. 
and all the time we're doing all this I'm going but I haven't shot an episode I want to go out in the streets but I am honestly when I do go out I'm carrying it's not up here it's downstairs I think my vlogging camera is every time with me and if it's not my vlogging camera my phone so if I do see someone and I have already I've, I think I've shot maybe five people so far but I want to do more. I want to five, find like maybe five more people or something. But I'm just letting you know that I am working on episode 24, I think it is, of what everyone is wearing in New York. And that video is going to come. So just please be patient with me. It's coming. I want it just as badly as you do. I, I, I want that video so much and I, I just want to get back into it. Actually, on the back of that, since I've got you for just a second, hold on, hold on, don't click off. Um, I also have been trying to figure out like, do I go back to London and Paris to shoot what everyone is wearing over there? And I will. So I know that we just literally came back a few weeks ago, short weeks ago, but I am going to go back and shoot London and Paris, separate episodes of what everyone is wearing in London and what everyone is wearing in Paris. So at some point I'm gonna be going back and yeah, just giving you a heads up from now, but not right now. Focus on this, this getting the episode of New York up in. God, I feel like I'm going to slowly start going international. That's what I'd love to be able to do. Anyway, that is it, my loves. I'm, God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know I waffled. Anyway, I'll have a good weekend and I will see you guys on Instagram between now and then and on my TikTok. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs>